Hey everybody, it's Josh at CollectionDX.com here with another review, starting off the new year with something a little off kilter. You may remember the uh, Milton Bradley Starbird ship from the 1970s. Um, it was a three-piece vehicle, electronic, uh, kind of cashed in on Star Wars a little bit, Space 1999, and it would, you know, had some electronics, would tell. It was really a cool piece that I actually never owned. I'm still kind of looking out for one. But uh, I was trolling around on uh, Yahoo Japan Auctions and uh, I found this and it's a, a Japanese edition of Starboard. But it's actually an entirely different toy that just is, you know, it's in the same family, right? So there's some different things about it from the, our Starboard. But I wanted to go over a few uh, things about the box first. So, of course, note the uh, blatant Star Wars ripoff font right and you notice it says milton bradley electronics but it's actually a uh, bandai product right so that's cool um what is up with this kid i don't think he's like a marching band kid like what is going on there but if you look carefully like i think he's he's not even holding this it's like photoshopped in the equivalent of like they're photoshopping right so there was probably like some kind of marching band ad that like yeah just use that kid it'll be fine there's also so here it shows like this has the the diving uh sound effect motion as well so it's kind of illustrating that uh there's a few other differences between this one and the um band uh, the american one and we'll show you that uh not the differences but we'll show you everything that this one does and talk about the differences in a minute i also wanted to show you that um there's actually no ba ba back to the box. Um, there could have been a ba back, and this one just doesn't have it. But a lot of times, these toys just didn't come with backs. So I don't know what the actual deal was with this one, but I'm going to go with there never was a back. But if you know otherwise, please let me know. Information about this Japanese version is pretty scarce. All right. So a few things going on here, as you can see. We have some, we have a sticker sheet. Oh, do I apply them? Oh, I don't know. That's gonna be tough. We have uh, a, an instruction sheet that has battery uh, installation information and action features. And then you have a uh, sticker assembly details and uh, a cutaway drawing, which is, that's pretty awesome. Um, it requires a nine volt battery and Look, it comes with a new nine volt battery. Um, obviously this is not the original battery because it says it's good until October, 2020. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know even where this came from, it's, uh, but it has a battery. I don't know if it works. It has a little baggie with uh, missiles. That's something the original didn't do. Um, let's check it out. So as I mentioned before, this is an entirely different toy from the one made in the 70s. Uh, I mean, this was probably made in 79, 80, but the American one anyways, right? So it's an entirely different sculpt. It does not separate. The original one had like a back section and the front section comes out. and This one doesn't do that. Um, it is an entirely different toy. It retains the, the sound gimmick, which I'll show you in a minute. But before we get there, I wanted to show you that this version has landing gear, which the other ones do not. I think that's pretty cool. Of course, my fingers are too big to get into the landing gear slot. A nice double wheeled landing gear. This one in front has a little, little tab to help you. And notice the uh, missile clips, which is something that if you're a fan of the Shogun Warriors, the, the Jumbo Machinders, these are what would be on the legs of your great Mazinga or, or Mazinga Z to hold all the extra missiles. So they, they won't, they're not interchangeable. Ooh, this is tight. I'm kind of nervous. There we go. Uh, the, the jumbo missiles won't fit on this. So they're similarly styled, but they're entirely different. And then you have the two launchers like this. And those missiles are activated 
with a push of the button. So it's still pretty strong after all these years. I don't think this toy was ever played with much. This is probably the first action it's seen. It takes the one nine volt battery, kind of a tight fit in there. Notice you got the Bandai logo here. You've got the embossed Starbird logo there. You've also got a couple of cool decals um, right there. SF5052 Starbird Battle Plane. Very cool. I really, really dig this one. The back is, uh, you know, it's a nice detail engine, but there's no lights or anything in the back. Uh, there's really no assembly, unlike the US version. There's a lot of little parts and pieces that get lost easily. None on this one. All right, so once the battery's in, running noise. Well, hear it. How cool is that? So imagine being a kid, you're flying this around. Coming for a landing. Missile la uh, laser fire. Look at that. thing it's just awesome right yeah i don't know why they chose to retool this uh so thoroughly uh, for the japanese release i think you know maybe bandai just licensed the idea and then look just said look we're gonna just make our own right <laughs> uh they licensed the gimmick of the the elevating thing and just kind of kept the form factor i really don't know it's kind of uh you know not a lot of people know that this exists but uh, more people should, especially now that I've gotten mine. <laughs> All right, yeah, so that is the uh, Starbird, the Bandai version in partnership with, uh, uh, was it Milton Bradley? Yeah, Milton Bradley. Milton Bradley made a lot of cool electronic uh, toys, like Big Track and like, it, it's, you know, of course it's capitalizing on Star Wars. It's a little grittier feel than the sci-fi was before then and of course the logo and you even look at the original starbird it look the the bird looks like the rebellion so um but you can't deny that this thing is very very cool obscure and uh fun like it's just a cool toy i don't know how i'm gonna display this but it's uh it's pretty great right so um josh at collectiondx.com thank you for watching and uh, we'll talk to you next time.